welcome to Pinder Kinder, where we love learning together. Who is here today? Oh, Savannah. Hi, thanks for joining us. I love how you sing. Oh, Oliver is here and Maylee. Hi, how are you? And Sunday and Ava, thanks for coming and learning. And I love your crafts. Paisley and Cameron, Noah and Ellie, you are awesome for learning at home. I am so proud of you. Aren't you glad we're here together? We are going to keep learning. And let's start the way we always do with a song. How are you feeling? Hmm. You can feel any of those ways. It's all okay. Our song is about feeling happy. Maybe you'll be happy when we're done singing it. Maybe you're happy now. Today when we sing we're, our song, we're going to say, clap your hands, stomp your feet, say hooray, do all three. But tomorrow I'm going to ask for your ideas. We're going to say, if you're happy and you know it, and then you are going to tell me what we should do. So you think about it and you practice so we can come up with some new ideas. But let's practice it today. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Do you know what we're thinking about today? Some of you already know. It's something right here and right here. It's your five senses. Do you know what that means? Have you heard of your five senses before? Well, Scholastic has given you two books about your five senses. And today we're thinking about our five senses. The first book is called That New Animal. And if you go to the link below and click it, Scholastic will read the book to you. It's about a family that gets a new baby. Do you have any babies at your house? Have you ever seen a baby? They make a lot of noise. But in this book, there's a dog. Do you have any pets? I do. This is my dog, Daisy. Daisy is so happy right now because we are staying home and she loves it. We go on walks, we pet her. She just loves everything. She's a good dog. So there's a book about a baby and a dog. And then there's another book about two dogs exploring the five senses. But you might be saying, Mrs. Fender, what are those five senses? I can't even remember. But let's think about it. What's the first one? What's one that you remember? Yes. Seeing. Point to your eyes. I can see. You say it. I can see. First sense is seeing. It helps us so much. What's another one? Hearing. I can hear. Good job. Hey. I can see, I can hear, I can smell. Good job. See, hear, smell, I can taste. 
What's the last one? I was asking my family to see if they remember their five senses, and someone couldn't remember this one. It's tricky. I can touch. Let's all say it. I can touch. Those are our five senses. We're going to think about them some more. You've already got your brain activated. You activated your schema about the five senses. While you're thinking, let's sing a song about your ears. Touch your ears. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Maybe you want to try that song again later. I bet you'll get really good at it. So we have five senses, but look at my friend. This is my friend, Mr. Potato Head. Do you have a Mr. Potato Head? Oh, you do? You don't? Okay. Well, if you don't have one, it's okay. If you do have one, maybe you could pause the video, boop, and go get it and come back. If not, just watch me. He can't do anything but walk. What does Mr. Potato Head need? Yes. He can't see. Yes, you're exactly right. He needs eyes to see. Oh, thank you. Now I can see. Thank you so much. He's so glad he can see. What else does Mr. Potato Head need? You were just talking. He couldn't even hear you. That's right. He doesn't have any ears. How many ears does he need? Right. He needs two ears. So now he can see and he can hear. Mm -mm. He doesn't have a nose. That's right. He needs a nose. Someone in my house is cooking right now. It smells so good. I'm glad I have a nose to smell it. But Mr. Potato Head needs something else. A mouth. Good. He can't taste. So now Mr. Potato has, say it with me, eyes to see, nose to smell, ears to hear, mouth to taste. He needs hands to touch. Very good. One, two hands to touch. And just to be nice, I'm going to give him a hat. Now Mr. Potato has five senses just like you, and he can use his five senses. I'm going to put him back here so he can watch us because we are going to use our five senses. Now, I want you to use your five senses all day, but we're going to use our five senses first right now. Use your eyes. What do you see? Yes, a baseball. Let's say a sentence. I see a baseball. Maybe later you want to write that sentence. Now we're going to smell. We do not have smell-o-vision. I wish that was invented, but it's not. So I'm going to smell it. It's cinnamon. Oh, it smells so good. Maybe your grown-up will take you in the kitchen and let you smell some spices and see if they smell good or spicy or not so good. Mmm, this is cinnamon. I use it in my recipes. Maybe you could make cinnamon toast. Mmm, that would be good. This is also cinnamon, and it smells good. Next, I'm gonna, you, you're going to use your ears. You get to do this one. Now listen. No, it's not raining. It's a rain stick. It sounds like rain but it's not rain. What are some other things you can hear at your house? I want you to notice later today. Next, I wanted to bring my dog on for touch, but she's taking a nap. So I have this little fake kitty and I'm touching. How do you think this kitty feels? Yes, soft. This cat is soft. You can touch some things in your house. Are they rough? Are they soft? Are they smooth? Today, notice, how do things feel? 
And last but not least is taste. Ooh, I'm going to taste this lemon. How do lemons taste? Mmm, -hmm. sour. My daughter likes to eat lemons. Ugh, mm. It's so sour. We use our tongue to taste things. Sometimes they're sweet or salty or sour. So those are our five senses, and you know them all. And good scientists use all their senses. Yesterday, you learned a new word. Read it. C. Spell it. S E E. I C U. You could make something to help you get really good at this word. Did you practice writing it? Did you write any sentences? So you know about toilet paper tubes. Dun dun dun! You can take a paper towel tube. It's longer, and you could write it, or you could get a grown up to write it and write C. And then I draw a little, drew a little face. C. And then. You could look like a pirate. It reminds us of our joke. And go around and notice. You could look out the window. You can look in your house, in your backyard, and you could see, what do I see? You could also do a sentence. We love sentences. Let's read it. I see a learner. I see you. You're a learner. You could write anything. I see a dog. You could write it on a piece of paper. You could make it into a story. Maybe you want to make a tube just like this to practice your word. I know you do. Now, we have five senses. So today, we are going to think deeply about the number five. Get your piece of paper, your crayon, or your pencil. If you already know how to write a five, you may write it. If you don't, wait for me. You can watch me first. Now, sometimes it's tricky. Numbers go backwards. They go the wrong way. That's okay. It just means you need some more practice. But I have a little poem to help me remember how to make a five. Watch me. Put on a hat, then take a dive. Make a big round tummy. That's a five. Try one. Try a five. Put on a hat, then take a dive. Make a big round tummy. That's a five. Good job. Can I see your fives? Very nice. If your five is tricky, you could ask a grown-up to write it, and then you get a highlighter. Do any of your grown-ups have highlighters? I love highlighters. Maybe you could do that. Or do you have sidewalk chalk? You could go outside and write fives in sidewalk chalk. Now, this is a numeral. It also is a word. Five. Say it slowly. Let's spell it. If you know the first letter, go ahead and write it. You knew it. Do you know the vowel? Stretch out five. Go for it. There's an E at the end that's silent. Some people call it silent E or magic E. It makes the I say its name. Let's spell this. F-I-V-E. Five. So you know the numeral. You know the word. What else do you know about a five? Oh, yeah. I was hoping someone would say that. Someone out there just said, you can tally five. I have a poem for that too. Watch me. If you are like, I do not know what you're talking about. I do not know what tallies are. No worries. Watch. We're going to do it together. One, two, three, four. Number five shuts the door. That's a tally and it is five tallies. If you've never seen a tally, no worries. Now you know that's a tally. Now, 
Can you think of any money, a coin that is worth five cents? Which coin is worth five cents? Not a penny, not a quarter, not a dime. Dun, da, da. It's a nickel, you're right. Nickel, this is a big one. I'm gonna hang my nickel right up here. Maybe you could ask your grown up, do you have any coins at your house? You could get them out and you could find the nickels and you could count the nickels and you could count by fives. Let's count by fives. Get your hand like this. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Great job counting by fives. I love it. Now, Will you draw five of something, anything? I'm gonna do it really quickly, but later you could go back and add a lot of details. I'm going to draw five happy faces because I'm so happy to be with you. You can drive, draw anything. One, two, three, Four, five. Maybe you can think about some more things about five later today. Great job thinking deeply about the number five. We can talk a lot about five. There's more things. Yes, we have five fingers. Yes, we have five senses. So many awesome things. Now it's time for our joke. It's about the number five. What kind of tree can give you a high five? So before I tell you the answer to this joke, will you give me a high five? High five, high five. Love it. Okay, let's practice. Do you wanna hear a joke? What kind of tree can give you a high five? A palm tree! <laughs> oh, so this is your palm. And when you give a high five, you're touching the palm. And this is a palm tree. <laughs> That's a funny one. You might want to rewind it and practice so you can tell your grown-up this joke later. You're very awesome. Before we go, let's review the five senses. See, smell, taste, hear, touch. Awesome. Use your five senses all day. Do it. I know you will. Touch your elbow. Skidamarink-a-dink-a-dink. Skidamarink-a-doo. I love you. Skidamarink-a-dink-a-dink, skidamarink-a-doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. So skidamarink-a-dink-a-dink, skidamarink-a-doo. I love you and you and all of you. High five from Kinder, Kinder, Kinder. I love you and I'll see you next time.